So oh, guys, we are in the hire car right now. Uh, we picked it up at six, it's now nine. We're driving to Bude, Cornwall, and it's gonna be our first Christmas together. Isn't it is. It? This whole journey I'm gonna take you through is dieting through Christmas because I think, especially my audience, very dedicated, or competitors themselves, and I have some clients who are competing also uh, in the kind of earlier half of the year or um, have, just need to be dieting right now. For me, it's not a big deal. I didn't need to plan like a diet break or a deload or maintenance period. So I am fully dieting through this. So I'm gonna take you through that journey. Uh, one of the things I'm immediately not looking forward to is I think our time with you like at one in the morning. Um, I normally go to bed at about 10.30, so I'm due to bed in an hour and a half. We'll see how my performance is. There is a cool little gym imbued, which I'm excited to share with you as well. So I have access to that now. Uh, and yeah, it's gonna be a journey. It'll be with Charlotte's family. They're gonna experience me, although they know what I'm like, don't they? Yeah, they've got fairly low expectations. Yeah, Charlotte's mum knows I'm <laughs> a boring was a joke. <laughs> Just to be clear. So I'll catch up with you guys later. We are apparently at the best services which that the M4 has to offer, which is Reading Services. And uh, I'm getting my last meal of the day. It's like 10 p.m. We have not been on the road long at all. Can you see them in the background? <laughs> so Charlotte's taken Ada out. And unfortunately, we don't know what Ada's experience has been with cars, but we do know that when we picked up, she had a long journey in the car, and imagine that was probably not the best experience for us. So she was shaking. So there they are. <laughs> I don't know where they've even gone. Um, so yeah, gonna pick up some food. I'll make sure I can film that so you guys get an insight into that, because yeah, this is all about my dieting. I guess a slight upside to this is I did always want to try the gingerbread carb killer which I'm going to get to try now. What have you got coming? I'm not very happy to be honest, Steve. So I just had the... What did I have? The carb killer... Gingerbread carb killer for the first time. I feel like that was overrated. I just didn't enjoy it that much. I have the Fit Crunchers popped protein chips. So these are... 157 calories, 4.4 fat, 19.9, .9, 20 grams of carbs and eight grams of protein, and they're made from mostly soy protein, so it's fine. It was just something a bit different to having another protein bar, really. I knew exactly what I needed when I went in there, so I wanted to get 20 fat, 80 carbs, and like 40 protein. So I ended up overshooting protein a little bit, which is fine. My carbs are under today, my fats are a little bit under, and I have been under eating a little bit so far on this diet, which is something that is probably going to catch up to me in the latter weeks, but I'm glad to have taken it assertively and aggressively when I can within the diet. I can be losing it 1-2% to per week at the moment and it not be a huge deal. I just said to Charlotte now, I wasn't even hungry going in there, I'm not hungry now, I could easily just not eat anything else today. I want to hit my protein, I don't want to be in too big a deficit because it will start hitting me. Especially as I said, tonight's probably not going to be the best night's sleep. So tomorrow, I definitely want to have at least this food in my system. Also I want to avoid eating food too late. It's 10 now, this is a fair bit of food to what I'd normally consume at this time. There is some information coming about circadian rhythms and how you might want to front load your food rather than back load it, but you certainly don't necessarily want to be eating at kind of obscure times of the day that you don't normally eat because that will put your circadian rhythm out of whack. Probably not good for digestive health, but this is something I will be talking to Greg Potter, who is the man um, on the podcast in the, in the new year, so definitely look out for that information. But yeah, I've got this pack and then I've got a PhD salted caramel bar. Um, one of their, yeah, diet whey bars. They're fantastic, um, really enjoy those, so. Takedones.com So guys, we are now in the 
skewed and we did not actually arrive until I think we got here at 3 in the morning and then, oh no, maybe 2.30 and then uh, Freddy, I got some footage I think on my camera so now I'm on the way to co-op to get something to eat for breakfast and then I will be training probably a couple of hours at Butte Gym after that uh, and then we'll probably be taking the dogs out for a walk and stuff like that so I'll show you what I end up picking up from co-op <laughs> So guys, I'm on the way to the gym. I've got Monster in hand as my pre-workout beverage of choice. Typically I train twice a day. Whilst I am traveling for Christmas, that's not gonna be possible. I'm lucky enough and fortunate enough that this gym is actually even open. And actually it's even open tomorrow. I don't know if I'll train Christmas day. If it was up to me, I absolutely would because I love training and uh, it's legs tomorrow. What better way than to reward yourself on Christmas Day with a present of legs. So for breakfast I had uh, like a load of blueberries. I plugged in a whole 200, like 200 odd grams, but I didn't finish it, didn't fancy finishing it. I'll probably finish it later. Had a couple of Arla quark yogurts, which are actually really not very tasty, uh, which fits the bill when you're dieting because when we consume tasty food, we get this dopamine release and that makes us crave this dopamine release because the body loves it and therefore we crave these tasty foods and uh, that can drive your cravings like wild uh, you can kind of mistake that for hunger and make the diet a lot harder than maybe it should be so yeah right now that's not a problem for me I just had them because they fit the bill of being 20 grams of protein each so I had that, I had two bagel thins by Morton's with a little bit of squeezy honey on and uh, yeah that was about an hour ago now I'm walking to the gym and I'll be hitting my pool session. Sometimes when you're traveling in gyms that uh, are different to your own, you're not on the same machine. So that was a good example where I'm doing a cable row chest supported. Whereas in my gym, we have a machine row chest support. It's a machine with cables, very, very similar. Like for like, set, rep range, RAR, bingo, bango, pretty damn good. So if you need to make these changes when you're off, like training abroad, whatever it might be, very easy, very programmable. Not ideal necessarily, because progression is going to be difficult. As long as you're good with your RAR, and it's not hugely novel, it's very, very similar, you're good to go. 